Becky with the good hair and confused ass nigga don't know who he want to be. Y'all wanted some of this? Boy, <laughs> y'all niggas gonna get this mama's cooking, boy. <laughs> Shout out to Mark Jackson. He used mama's cooking last night. Or the, is it, uh, yeah, other night, because it's after 12. Yeah. Shout out to Mark Jackson. He's a real coach. And you put that team together. Don't think I don't know, Mark. That's going to be between me and you. Mark Jackson. Me and you now. You put that team together. But don't tell nobody else. You did it. You were praying. I saw the way you encouraged Clay Thompson. Because that motherfucker used to miss a lot of shots until you pulled him to the side. I appreciate what you did. I wish I had a coach like your motherfucking ass when I was young. And not that bitch ass Doug Collins. But that, hey, but that between me and you. Don't tell nobody else that, okay? All right. My nigga. <laughs> hey, woo, this shit is easy. But, I, hey, look here. Thank y'all for coming to holler at me. Because I'm sitting in here, my boy over there looking at me laughing this little, little <laughs> And that's why I told you. That's why I told you, punks. This is why I'm going off on y'all ass. Cause I got a little boy over here, I got a show. You got a name, boy. You your daddy's son, and you your mama's son. But you got a daddy. And you gonna see how I handle a bunch of punks. So he gonna know how to handle a bunch of you damn punks. And he gonna handle you just like me. Mm-hmm. When you started, niggas, no holds ball. When I first came to you, I was humble. He got to see that too. He got to see me trying to talk to you bitches. <laughs> and now he get to see what happened when that talking don't work. Yeah, now it's time to kick your drawers in your ass. You want to sit here and talk about how big your show is. Nigga, I went to see your show with German Lynn. Jack, you's a drug addict. <laughs> I was just going to get that out of the way. Bitch, you shouldn't smoke that much reefer while you smoke, falling asleep at work. Man, you need to smoke one less blunt, you dumb son, bitch. You's a drug addict. You falling out like a motherfucker, bitch. Get rehab. You a dumb motherfucker. But anyway, um, I seen the uh, comment section. And the comment section was sprinkling a little mama's kitchen cooking and y'all motherfucking shit. Yeah. They was over your comment section looking for mama's cooking. And ain't nobody looking for that drug addict shit y'all got going on over here. <laughs> so I'm on your ass, boy. You ever heard that song, pull up to my bumper, baby? Oh, no, I, no, 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 hell no, Paul. That, I heard that song, but I don't want to pull up to you nigga bumper, especially not after what that damn mulatto mix, Spanish, English, but, whoa, hey, look here. Matt Barnes, why are you so skinny, but your jaws and cheeks so wide? Is, is that that marijuana boy making your uh, jaws that wide? Getting you locked jaw? You putting something in your shit, probably. Allegedly, I think, maybe. Because your goddamn jaws, for a skinny ass nigga with a skinny face, bitch, you a wide jaw, pug face bastard. And I shouldn't be judging the way you look, but I just think it's funny to tell you, you ugly as fuck. Just my thoughts. You didn't know. You need to make a jingle out of that. What? Well, damn, number one. No, it's already a jingle out of that. That's Nelly. Oh. Yeah, that's Nelly song. See, my son don't know shit about no Nelly. He listen to these crazy nigga rap. Well, you better stop listening to them, nigga. Not the what? Not the white one. Oh, y'all got me caught up in the comments. Let me get back on these niggas' ass. I can't get caught up in the comments. <laughs> hey, look here. I noticed that little high yellow glow stick, uh, Chris Bouchard, and that little big nose, uh, man, that's an ugly motherfucker. They should find your bitch ass for not using your money, Rob Parker, and at least get a facelift. <laughs> hey, look here. Look here, bitch. <laughs> hey, look here. Rob Parker, I'm going to tell you one thing, bitch. By next year, you better have a full nose job. I want to see some new cheekbones, and bitch, I want you to rip all of this shit out. Just redo the whole fucking mouth, because you's an ugly motherfucker, okay? Redo that, and then you start talking about other people, punk. What the fuck you talking about? You ain't used none of your money to get surgery on that face when you make money off of your looks and your likeness? What's wrong with you, dummy? 
You got at least cut all this shit up for yourself or something. <laughs> Ain't nobody told you that? Let them cut your face up and say, Ain't that better? Patrice O'Neal. Shout out to Patrice O'Neal. R.I.P. homie. I love that dude. I be watching that shit almost every other week. Ain't that better? <laughs> yeah. Punk ass. I noticed y'all ain't say nothing though. Let me finish my thought. I was getting caught up in calling your ass ugly. But I noticed you two punks. When I ask y'all a real question, y'all ain't respond today. So maybe tomorrow. I hope somebody send them two punks the video. Well, I wasn't cussing and shouting. I just called them I, ugly as hell. You know, hell ain't really a cuss word. But I called them ugly as hell. But I asked them two real questions. Why was that bitch Charlemagne the God going to colleges? Has that ever happened before? Where they send an NBA analyst to colleges to talk about a player? I asked them that. They haven't answered that question yet. I've never heard of that. I don't understand the benefits or whatever. What did the college kids gain out of that? The only person that lost anything was me if a punk bitch is talking about me when I ain't there to kick his drawers in his ass. So I just wanted to see if that ever happened again. And then I asked him about analytics. And, you know, I haven't heard anything back. Yeah, Stephen A. Snitch. Stephen A. Snitch used to go around to colleges talking about me. And so I'm just trying to figure out, has that ever happened before? Has it ever happened where you sent a sports analyst to talk about a teenager other than me or anybody, period? I don't think, if it's not an agenda, if it's not a concerted effort to make sure that you defame this guy's name and he be the poster child of why you can't come out of high school so we can make a one and done rule, if that's what happened, I need to know. If I was the poster boy for your one and done rule, I need to know. Because I'm trying to figure out what was the benefit of Stephen A talking to those colleges. We're going to have to have some conversations, Mr. Stephen A. I know why you don't want to talk to me, bitch. But I got a funny feeling, me and you, and whoever sent you around me, bitch, we're going to have some conversation here shortly. Ain't that better? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to kick you niggas draws in your ass. How many meetings y'all done had about me? The kid that you said was dumb, stupid, a bus. I was just sitting back waiting and watching. See, what happens is when you get arrogant and you get complacent when you underestimate somebody that you think is nothing, that you think life is dirt, that you think is a bus, you tend to overlook and underestimate and I tend to wait on your ass and get stronger. <laughs> Cause I'm a Geechee motherfucker. Yes, Lord. Hey, look here, check this out. I appreciate everybody that was here. I'm about to take my country ass to bed cause I normally wake up about four, five o'clock in the goddamn morning. Cause like my cousin Ren would say, you gotta be up watching them niggas. That's just his country saying, he a military guy. He always cussing, he always saying nigga. You can't tell no military guy what to do. Anybody serving the army, I think, or the military period, I think they get to say whatever and do whatever as long as they ain't hurting no goddamn body. Because I know it's a stretch for them not to hurt our crazy ass. <laughs> but anyway, y'all have a blessed night. I hope y'all make some more videos. Y'all niggas get your money, man. Get your stimulus check. Get your Kwame Brown stimulus check. Yeah. I'm my mama's son. Y'all just remember that. Mama's cooking. Y'all go get a goddamn shirt. Link in the bio. Let's get it.